Hello, my friends of Hattari Labs. My name is Saul Montoya. Today we are going to do a tutorial about how to represent the Sentinel-2 image in true color in QGIS. Okay, um, here we have, here I have uh, the bands, the bands number two, three, four, and eight. So this is uh, blue, green, red, and near infrared. And if you do not remember how to how to download the specific bands of a Sentinel-2 satellite, I recommend you to read this article in our post, so how to download the specific granules on a Sentinel image, and then you will end up with this image that are the only ones from the Sentinel-2 that has a resolution of 10 meters. Okay, so, and now I am going to show you how you can represent them on QGIS. As you have seen, you have the extension on these bands are the GP2, yep, and those are my download files. So I open QGIS. Okay. okay, it's opening right now. Uh, See again. Okay, cool. Here I have my QAS. And now I'm going to make a virtual raster because uh, it could be another band, it could be another process, but with, with virtual raster is the, the easiest one. Okay, so I'm going to raster and then say miscellaneous and go build virtual build virtual raster catalog. And then maybe I can import the rasters on my QES file. So I create a new project. And I like this feature of QES where I can just select one and drag into my canvas, layer panel, sorry. Here I have my band. This is my band two. This is my, my band. And this is my band four. Those are the ones that I need. Cool. And the problem is that I have each band, but separate. And this is, I mean, I'm, if you see, if you know, if you know the, what you see, the superficial is the superposition of this band, so I'm going to make that. Entonces, so I go to raster, to miscellaneous, build virtual raster, and say usable. I say I will use the visible raster for the input. Cool, and my output will be virtual uh, true color. True color. Oh, the virtual raster is actually do not make a new file, but it's a uh, uh, is related to the connection in between bands, and so the virtual raster is actually a file that has is very small in size. Save, okay, and I have to do a small trick here. Cool. Do you know uh, virtual are made in the order RGB, so it's red, green, and blue. So therefore, uh, this order has to be red, red, green, and blue. I will do it again to, to show you what, what will happen. Look, if I have, if, have, if I have this order that is the one that, that comes with the, have the band in order. So I have number two, number three, and number four, this is blue. This is green and this is red. So if I go to raster and then go build virtual raster, I use this. Yep. And then I'm going to select color cool. Then I say I put separate, very important. So I would say, okay, true color, separate, cool. And then I say, okay, I'm going to import in this. 
uh, we are making a mistake because this this order you are saying this has to be RGB. So this is this has to be the band of the red color, but the but you are assigning the blue color because two is for the blue color. Four is the for the red color. Okay, so you have to do it in this way. Four. So you press the pencil here, and then you can since the only thing that varies here is just this name. You say four, three, and four, three, and two. Okay. And oh, sorry. Three and two. Okay, and you just press OK, and they say load in Canvas when finished. Cool. And OK. Yes. And I have the true color. And maybe the colors are not quite enhanced. Okay, or let me, yeah, like you see, a little bit darker. Okay. Enhance the colors by going to here properties. And then here I'm going, I can load min box values and say, okay. And I say, it's max. Okay, load. Mm -hmm. What else I can do? I can, I can put it from here. So I put apply. Cool. Boop, boop, boop. Yep. Boop. Mm -hmm. Still, ooh, what is green? It's not so green. Sample here. Ooh. I would like, I will, let, I will try and one for the last properties. Uh, oh, 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 load. Right. Mm, this seems better. Okay. Uh, let, let me. Okay. No. One percent. Cool. Yep. One percent, and then here you have the satellite image. Okay, and cool, and here you have the the some valleys you have and then you have some mountains and then you have some glacier as well so and some lakes cool and then you can hit the bike okay this was the this quick tutorial about how to represent a true color image from the sentinel bands and just to remind you we are from hatari labs it's a blog, Atari Labs. We are a blog dedicated to knowledge sharing and open source software in water resources. Uh, we, we will have a lot of tutorials on QEIS, HECHMS, Modflow, and so on. We have a very interesting newsletter, so please sign to our newsletter. And you can follow us by Facebook and Twitter. Okay, um, my name is Saul Montoya. Once again, I invite you to subscribe to this channel and as well to our newsletter and to see the coming uh, tutorials. And as well, we have core webinars and in the future, we will have courses as well. Okay, have a great day. If you want to contact us by, for something, please, there is true that we are very, we are very, um, we read it and we answer it as well okay have a good day and we hope to to see you in another tutorial